<laughs> Guys, we all make it. Really? <laughs> nice! All right, high five. Hello YouTube and YouTube viewers, it is Cody Williams again, and I'm going to show you guys a quick basket design. Someone asked me how to make a basket for Valentine's Day coming up, so here's the base for it. So I have six balloons tied nozzle to nozzle with about six, seven fingers of a tail. I'm going to wrap all six of these together at those nozzles. So you have this octopus looking thing going on here. I'm going to add an ear twist to two of my balloons, doesn't matter which two. Add an ear twist here, another one down here. Position them so they're on both sides of these six balloons, like so. Now, it doesn't matter how big you make this bubble, just matters that they all get this size. Depends on how big you want the basket to be. I'll make mine fairly small. So make a four finger bubble and an ear twist. Now do that move on all six of your balloons. Now, once you're here, pause if you have to and catch up. You need to. Or if you had me, awesome. You're going to make another four finger bubble, same exact size, on one of your balloons, and you're going to connect it to another ear twist. Like so. Now, you see how it's kind of connecting. Take the balloon that you didn't just use. So say you connected this one to here, take this balloon to attach to the next one, and so forth. So another four finger bubble, connect to the next ear twist. Now this one we just connected, we're going to leave there, and take the rest of this one to keep going forward, so it's all even. Do this all the way till you end up back where there's no blue coming out. The very first one. Attach, and close up. This is you right here. Now, make a one inch bubble, followed by another four finger bubble. And you're going to attach this four finger bubble to your next balloon while it's another one inch bubble. So I'm going to kind of pinch the balloon, my ring finger, middle finger, sorry, ring finger, pinky. That way I can twist my one inch bubble here. And then I'm going to connect here to here. Like so. Now remember as you're doing this, to not use the same balloon to keep going, that you use the balloon you attach to to go to the next one so you don't run out of room. So now to another four finger bubble, attach to another one inch bubble. And then, repeat that again, four finger, a one inch, make sure you grab the full same one again, a four finger, two of one inch, like so, a four finger again, so you're doing this to you all the way back to the very beginning, you're repeating this. Now eventually you get to here where there's no balloon to attach to. This is the hardest part of each layer. You're going to do that four finger bubble. You're going to send this balloon, I'm going to put the tail through this four finger bubble section here, like through these two right here. Pull it. And we'll make this twist line up with this twist as I pull through. And then I send it up. So that's the hardest part. Now they're all connected again. Now you do the exact same thing you just did, where you make a one inch bubble out of any of these legs, curve it over to a four finger bubble, where it attaches to the next side, a one inch bubble, and you attach. And now you're repeating what we just did before, we have a four finger, another bubble, a four finger, another bubble, keep going until you get back to the beginning again. So here now I have another layer, we have to do that same move where we connect again. So four finger, and I'm going to push it through again, make them line up, and pull this to the top. So you can go as high as you want to, I'm going to end it here. When you end it, you're now going to make ear twists on all six of these. So one ear twist, two ear twists, three ear twists, four, five, six. Now, I want to 
break all these off. And those ear twists will hold them until I come back and tie them off. So then I tie each one. and this is a really cute basket design. So here is a basket. Have a great day today, a better tomorrow. Again, if my tutorial was just too fast, this was for an existing artist asking how to do this. If you want a series on really slow, easy to follow tutorials, that is a Zero to Pro series I just came out with, and that is one of those that you have zero experience. It goes slow. It's the beginning is slowest and it's gradually picks up as you go, but it never gets really this fast. It's all very in-depth instructions. It's probably the reason why it's four hours long. So anyways, here's the basket. You guys have a great day. Bless you guys. Have fun. And I'll see you later, guys.